Hi, and welcome to week 25 of World History 2. So in the upcoming week, we're going to go on a, a captivating exploration through various chapters of global history. And this will serve as an in-depth preview of what lies ahead. So we're going to begin by describing how Japan began to build an empire. Japan's path to empire building is a fascinating tale of modernization, militarization, and expansionism. We'll delve into Japan's rapid transformation during the Meiji Restoration, which saw the nation embracing Western technology, industry, and military tactics. With a newfound sense of nationalism and imperial ambition, Japan embarked on a campaign of territorial acquisition, including the annexation of Korea and the conquest of Mancorea. Through rigorous analysis, we'll explore the geopolitical factors driving Japan's imperial ambitions and the consequences of its expansionist policies for the broader Asia-Pacific region. Next, we'll be describing how Europe and the U.S. built colonies in Southeast Asia. So the colonization of Southeast Asia by European powers in the U.S. represents a pivotal chapter in global history. We'll examine the motivations behind Western imperialism in the region, including economic exploitation, geopolitical competition, and the spread of Western cultural and religious values. From the establishment of Dutch, British, French, and American colonies, to the exploitation of valuable resources, resources such as rubber, tin, and spices, we'll explore the multifaceted impact of colonial rule on Southeast Asian societies and economies. Third, we'll be explaining how imperialism spread to the islands of the Pacific. So the islands of the Pacific Ocean were not immune to the forces of imperialism that swept across the globe in the 19th and early 20th centuries. We'll trace the expansion of European powers, particularly Britain, France, Germany, and the US into the Pacific region. From the annexation of Hawaii and Guam to the colonization of Fiji and Samoa, we'll analyze the geopolitical strategies, economic interests, and cultural dynamics that drove imperialist expansion in the Pacific. Additionally, we'll examine the resistance movements and indigenous perspectives that shaped the colonial experience in the region. Topic four goes into the paths uh, to self-rule for Australia and New Zealand, as they are emblematic of the broader trends of settler colonialism and democratic reform in the British Empire. We'll explore the process through which these former colonies transitioned from British dominion to independent nations. From the establishment of representative government and the granting of responsible government to the drafting of constitutions and the attainment of full sovereignty, we'll analyze the political, social, and economic factors that facilitate, facilitated the evolution of Australia and New Zealand into modern democracy. Finally, we'll be identifying the political problems faced by new Latin American nations. So the period following Latin America's independence from colonial rule, specifically Spanish rule, was marked by political upheaval, instability, and social unrest. We'll examine the myriad challenges faced by newly independent nations, including internal conflicts, regional rivalries, and struggles for power and legitimacy. From the legacy of colonialism and the persistence of social hierarchies to the rise and the influence of foreign intervention, we'll analyze the complex factors that hindered the consolidation of democratic governance and economic development in Latin America. Additionally, we'll explore the enduring legacies of these political problems on contemporary Latin American politics and society. So this will conclude our week. Um, we're going to uh, look at all these subjects, of course, in detail. Thank you for following along, and I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class. Thank you.